Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis. And I'm John P. And today we are unboxing the Amazon Fire Stick. Fire? Oh, Fire. I'm out of here. Fan of fire, John. You are a big fan of the Fire TV, though, from Actually, Apple. I, am. I mean, not from, from Apple, Amazon. from Amazon. Wow, wow, you just made Amazon mad. Uh, let, let's cut. Wow. <laughs> no, I'm not going to cut. I'm going to keep rolling because you know what? It invites a natural comparison to the Apple TV, and we're going to talk about that. But yeah. before we before we unbox this little critter, now there is this is the miniature version of the Fire TV box that looks like a Roku or an Apple TV, which we um, both have purchased. Correct. They didn't and give them to us. We bought them. Yes, and both of us independently have switched completely over to the Fire TV. I, I love my Fire TV. Actually, I didn't think I would as much as I did. You know, when it came out, the reason why I bought one was really just to check it out well, yeah, because we already had a, we had an Apple TV, we had a Roku. And I was I happy enough. Roku, yeah. I was. Ha I thought I was happy until I plugged in the Amazon, you know, Fire TV and saw how fast how yeah how fast it is fast and everything voice control i hardly impressive. ever use it although i have used that a few times yeah we'll talk about that in a minute okay now that is a regular size box and that physical right. box allows you to have more different kinds of inputs and outputs like a digital optical cable output right. and some other things but who cares because this is just a stick that plugs into a USB port. It's the Fire T TV stick, and yeah, it gives you, you basically it? all of the functionality. This is me. Wait, before you open it, you guys check this out because I right. like it when they do this. It's got a little seal holding this outer thing on, but they put a little zipper in there. <gasps> oh, look at that. Oh, Ooh. that was smooth. Smooth. Nice. All right. So you can um, do that just like that. Now, Fire TV stick. It's um, too bad we didn't get to use our quickie to open it, though. I know. That's, that's true. Okay. Amazon does a fantastic job at packaging. As you can see, the bright colors inside. This this is the stick itself. Now you know what's interesting about that stick that you have in your hand? That actually has a dual core processor and one gig of RAM in it. They crammed could, they crammed the, as yeah. much in that as you cram into like a little uh, you hold that. like a little um, phone or, or tablet. Right. It's crammed into this. It just doesn't have a impressive. screen on it. Now it has a little power. Uh, That's right, it has port power there. because it does need like half a volt or what are you know, half an amp or one amp or something which it can get out of a USB okay. port on your TV so if you have like a TV a smart TV like this one yeah. some of them have USB plugs on them and you can just use a short cable from that to this so to there. plug it in if not or I'm sure we should we should have an adapter under while here. you look Let's for see. that this is a miniature version of the fire TV remote uh, it's light very lightweight small uh, you've got all your controls here menu home fast forward return uh, scrolling all of that the thing it doesn't have you'll notice is voice search uh, which comes with the bigger box that's so. true and you can add it it's it is built into this but what you have to do is you have to pay 30 bucks for the extra uh, remote that has the voice button right. on it, and then that will add it to it. Now, I like that it came with a couple of batteries for the yes. remote, so that'll get Always you started. Good. Although, Triple A. Yeah, who knows? Amazon Basic batteries. I don't know if they're any good or not. They're kind of, but it also came with a U with an uh, HDMI, HDMI? Extension, extension. So sometimes you you might have a, a different, like let's say your TV is flat <laughs> right. on the wall and the HDMI port pokes out this way. Oops. <laughs> Just about lost <laughs> Let's it. Let's not break it. Putting this behind it would cause it to stick way right. out. But you can plug this plug in, in put plug this in, in and, and it can just drop wherever. So that's nice. And then this is like the little power brick. Power if brick. You need to it's five plug watt. This into the fire uh, TV stick and put it into to the wall. It's hard to read, but it says one amp output. So it's five watts. It's a single amp. So basically, nice and any, small. Any USB port should be able to power that. And then, yeah, it comes with that cable. But you yeah. know what I would recommend is you can go on Amazon and you can buy, if your TV has a USB port on it, um, why use a six foot long power you know, cable when you can buy like a 12 inch one? You can buy just a one foot USB. It's just a standard micro USB. Yep. And then you'll plug that into here for power. Um, and you plug that into your TV and bingo bango. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna plug it into a TV and we're gonna check it out and see how it compares to the regular fire, the full sized box. Right. And then we'll get back to you guys with a full on review of that 
as soon as we do. Indeed. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, let us know what you think if you already have one or if you're thinking about getting one or if you can get one for somebody for a holiday gift. 39 bucks. Comments. Just get them. Hey. <laughs> Thumbs up on youtube.com slash GPTV. Tim, you got them. Bye. Guys. Bye. And philosophy is like the most unscientific creation of mankind ever. Let's face it. Raspberry Pi has been the hit of the hacker slash makerspace community. It's a tiny on today's holiday gift guide, we're giving you all kinds of ideas for what to give somebody else.